Now for a piece I started earlier this week. It's a Tiger Concepts Marine Diver. Rather than snowflake hands like those you may have seen previously, this one has the traditional Mercedes style hands. A week ago I conducted an experiment bleaching the brown stock bezel insert. I submerged the brown insert in bleach for a few minutes, paying close attention to make sure it didn't fade completely. and the result was a rusty metallic gold finish all along the insert. While some might say job well done and call it a day, I decided to take it a few steps further. I popped out the dial and aged it slightly, just enough to give the hour markers a little pop combined with the now distressed tobacco brown dial and added some shade to the golden hands and topped it off with a dirty white seconds hand. All of this finished up with a now faded bicolor bezel insert. It may be hard to believe that at one point the insert was originally black and red. The black has now faded into an almost denim blue while the red has transformed into a rosy red, almost pink in some areas. The golden numbers have a slight pop to them, now being a golden lime color. The insert is clearly distressed all along the edges, adding plenty of character to this piece, which is what I go for when putting these together. It's a piece that is eye-catching aesthetically and comes in a traditional package. No date window or any complications, just a straight refined piece with vintage appeal. In the sunlight, the dial beams out a multitude of browns, and that white second hand combined with the age markers is truly a stunning touch. The case sits at a traditional 40 millimeters, making it an easy wear on the wrist. On top, you have a domed crystal which adds plenty of depth. This detail, along with lug holes and the oyster style case back, add plenty of vintage aesthetics to this watch. The hackable movement is wound by an oversized crown. Let's not forget, mechanically the watch performs flawlessly. The long clasp holds up tight and feels secure when it's closed. Lately, I've enjoyed wearing this on a beautiful camouflage strap, which in my opinion resembles the texture of fall leaves. It's a little thin, but yet comfortable to wear. Truly a beautiful strap to go along with this remarkable piece. I'm pleased with the results of this watch. Finishing it did take longer than expected as I was waiting on parts and also just me changing my mind on the overall appearance of the watch. Perhaps the comfort lies in knowing that it's my choice. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't. It's truly been a joy being able to put pieces together and display them to you for you to see. So I'll catch you guys on the next one.